Before I get started on the actual content of this video, I should explain this. Yesterday, after taking my parents to brunch for Mother's Day, I was walking along with them and I made an unscheduled visit to the pavement. I landed left hand first and managed to scrape quite a lot of skin off my hand. And today, when I popped to see my asthma nurse for a regular checkup, she was like, eee, that needs a bit more cleaning out and addressing. So yeah, I filmed the first half of this video before I went to see the nurse and the second half afterwards, so if you're a bit confused as to why some scenes have this on and some don't, that's why. So the other thing I've been doing this weekend, as well as crashing onto pavements, is coaching a friend for an upcoming job interview. I don't claim to be an expert in this field by any stretch of the imagination, but I have been to a fair few job interviews in my time. Although I have been in my current job for like seven years, so it's been a while. Obviously, I know all the basics, like dress smartly, don't turn up late, you know, that kind of thing. But job interviews are very scary. Just how do you survive them? I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this! Ah! Sometimes people like to tell you to imagine the person doing the interview sitting on the toilet. What skills do you think you could bring to this company? But I think doing that would give me a very serious case of the giggles, which in an interview situation is, you know, kind of frowned upon. <laughs> yeah, I do take direction well, Ooh, but I can also work from my... <laughs> I can also work from my own initiative. <laughs> but I don't think it hurts to remember that the person who is doing your interview is just that, a person. And I guess that's what people mean when they say imagine them on the toilet. However scary the person sitting in front of you might seem to be, they are just a person who watches telly and has dinner and has likes and dislikes just like you do. You know, they are just a human being they probably pick their nose when they think nobody's looking. So once you've remembered that they're not this big, massive ogre to be terrified of, you just have to appear confident, but not, and I stress this, not overconfident. Come on, give me what, two or three months? I'm gonna be running this company. I'm gonna be changing the color of your office because you won't be needing it anymore. Confidence is something that I don't have a huge amount of, despite the fact that I have a YouTube channel and I sing and I'm quite happy with the idea of standing up on a stage and performing in front of people. That sort of thing doesn't bother me, but actual confidence in myself is, you know, not great. The thing with confidence is that if you fake it, you can eventually make it. If you put on a smile and sit up a bit straighter and just speak very clearly and try and sound confident, it will eventually make you feel confident because you're aware that you're coming across as confident. So if you're a bit like me and interview situations make you terrified and you're also not the most confident person in the world, just, you know, fake it till you make it. Just like I said, please don't become overconfident. That's a really good question and if it's all right by you, I'd like to answer it in the form of a rap. Yeah, I respect the question that you're asking. Yes, I'm good at multitasking. You're gonna ask how soon I'm starting when I drop my big knowledge on safeguarding. The final thing that I'm gonna suggest as a way to survive a job interview is to make sure you've done your homework. Look into the company that you've applied to work for so that when you're having your interview, you can mention stuff that you've read about them doing and make your answers a lot more personal to what they're actually looking for. Whoever is doing your interview is going to be impressed with your knowledge. Just keep it professional. You know, do your research, but don't make it creepy. Actually, I was reading online last night about your company's new initiative to reduce its carbon footprint, and I found that really impressive. 
And speaking of footprints, oh my days. How cute was your birthday card from your grandsons though? I mean, little baby Harry's got such tiny little feet, hasn't he? And they just dip them in the paint. And oh my God, I just love personal handmade cards, don't you? And oh my goodness, that video of Daniel in his school play. How adorable was he? Why are you giving me that face? Your Facebook profile is ludicrously public. Look, at the end of the day, if you stay calm, try to seem positive, make sure you've done your research, and remember that the person sitting in front of you is just a fallible human being, you can and will survive a job interview. In fact, you may even find you get the job. Have you got a job interview coming up? Let me know in the comments and I will wish you a massive good luck with it. And hey, share your job interview tips with us because it might be that you've thought of something that I haven't come up with and in fact that's very likely and we can all share in our hive mind knowledge. If you enjoyed this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up, you can click on my floaty head if you would like to subscribe and you can go over here to see last week's video. I'll speak to you all next week. Take care everyone, bye!